You thought you was coming on this video to see my hair or my little ponytail. No, you should know better. <laughs> the picture's funny though, right? But hey, I ain't judging. Listen, subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. God bless you guys. Okay, and we're gonna just go ahead and get into it. I'm Shar. Welcome to Twist and Shout. I'm a jokester. He he ha ha. Sometimes I get in trouble with my husband for it, but God knows, God knows my heart. Like it's just sometimes laughing is definitely good for your soul. Like you have to laugh, right? But hey, I'm gonna um redo my pony for today with something a little different. And I just, you know, I'm, I'm going to show you guys because, as you can see, the ponytail all buck wild and got no type of act right about it. But getting back to the short onion head, ponytail, whatever you want to call it, whatever the meme says. <laughs> Listen up. That could easily be any of us. I'm telling y'all. And sometimes it's not even a matter of because I used to look at people like, okay, it must run in their family. Like that's what I always thought when I was a kid. Like somebody got short hair, the mom must got short hair, but I've seen it be completely opposite. I seen it to be completely wrong. I will say this for me and my family, we typically have nice thick hair. Like we don't have issues with thinning. Um, not even so much as premature gray. And I believe the I got some tips while I'm going to do my pony to, you know, help those who may not have enough for a pony. I will say this. First things first, like not judging or anything, but I understand like if you can't, you don't have anything to do with your hair or you may not know better. But I will say if you need to start anywhere, Google is your friend. Like we can Google everything else, like directions, um, things like clothing and stuff like that. Google what's best for your type of hair. If you don't know what your type of hair is, um, hey, shout out to YouTube. That's how I learned and that's how I developed to a point where I'm comfortable enough to say, you know what? Some of these things I've been new, some of these things came natural and some things I learned and I just want to share with you guys. But I mean, there's always the few that just don't get hair. They don't get their hair. They are lazy. Um, or I want to say, I don't want to say ladies, because ladies sound natural, but they're, they're just not into it. Like, they don't have as much care or concern as maybe me. Like y'all how I slip my hair down with the shine and jam, the extra hole, and the softy super freeze, right? All right, boom. All right, so, all right, I know I said that this has been catching my eye for a while now. The Elasta QP or Elasta. QP, olive oil, mango butter, glaze, conditioning, shine and gel, and they have a butter and they have a treatment. Now, I first went in the store trying to find another butter because I've noticed and I told you guys that the main choice doesn't get much butter than this. I had it for a while, like over a year, and I slept on it and now that I'm actually actively using it for just everybody, probably even a dog too, that it's slowly, you know, going away and i also said that um you know eleven dollars for some butter I ain't cutting it in my opinion that's just me i'm on a budget y'all know this costs two dollars and fifty cent this 227 look i don't i ain't trying to spend a lot like i'm just not I'm trying to be smart but anywho so i was looking at the butter i'm like oh i want to try it so bad like i'm looking at the ingredients i'm like it looks almost to be identical two most butters now obviously the main choice is set apart because it is cruelty free paraben free like mineral free like it, it just is it's a very clean product like it doesn't have any harsh products at all it's all natural and it's black owned hello but you know sometimes you just ain't got it and right now i ain't got it so yeah, so I, I, you know, I left it alone. I thought, right, I'll wait till I'm actually out, out. Because my husband gets on me all the time. He's like, look, you ain't even finished using this yet. Like, you do too much. And, you know, I think a part of us women, like, we, we'd rather be safe than sorry. Like, we won't be caught washing our hair with that little bit thinking, oh, it might be enough and it is not enough. Or that just enough 
edge control and it's like, oh, I almost didn't have enough. Or oh, I actually did ran out before I could touch up. You know, you don't just want to get caught sleeping. So, slipping. Don't want to get caught slipping. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. But anywho, long story short, I decided to get the conditioning gel because I saw how cheap it was. And I'm like, this must be in the wrong spot. Because is this is 268, this is 298. And I was like, and you get six more ounces? Now, at first, I almost said, hmm. But the cheaper part of me, which has already had experience with this, went ahead with this. And I was like, nobody's talking about this, right? And I know it's been on the shelf for years. And I didn't even go to look it up. And I said, I'll just do it later. And I have this morning, I'm like, look. Hey, I think what happens once again, people get caught up in what's new and what's popping, what's the mass majority rule. And they don't get time to look and see what actually works for themselves. But anywho. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started while I'm because I'm killing time, right? All right, boom, bam. All right, so listen, honey, we know Shine and Jam works with topping with this for 4C hair. We all know by itself it don't do so great, right? Like maybe to go run some errands and come back home. But honey, I don't know if you can see. Like I just tapped it a little bit, mm -hmm. and I did my ponytail yesterday, right? Last all day, and. Even, I don't know what's in here, but even when I went to go to bed, right, and I did my little shining and brushing up and doing my Jamaican black castor oil, my hair went right back in place. And it's like, this, this might be some good stuff, okay? And it smells amazing. Like it has a soapy smell, like a very clean, fresh linen smell. It smells so good, like... It smells mature. Like, you ever had a product that just smells like, oh, that's, I'm, I'm now in the 30s club. That, that That's more my speed, okay? I want to smell like that, not bubble gum and gum drops, okay? Like, I'm a grown woman now. It smells very mature. But, okay, you see how much I got, right? Boom, bam. Don't mean a finger. Oh, I'll give you the finger. <laughs> Sorry. But, I'm good. A little bit more. Okay. And... Rub it together just like I would with the shine and jam, and it's very tacky, it's very sticky, almost like glue, like the um grill is not. And I'm just gonna wipe like I normally do. And I know I don't have gloves, but hey, I forgot them. That's the honest truth. Now you can see the shine art. Look at it. Hair is laid. Like this is not like the response to my hair is not much different from like the gorilla snot like you know the gorilla snot is like all right we're gonna lay down all right we're gonna behave we're gonna submit and just get a little bit you know some more for my backside i'm gonna rub it in and just as i stated before you know the back always needs a little more attention in the front like that's that's the norm but okay and that's another thing, too, because I am trying to research and focus on, like, um, some people call it the kitchen. Some people call it the main, like, the back of your head. That area is, like, it's a give and take thing. Like, if you're like me, like, I'm typically, I have a little more hair on my body than the average. And I have to, my husband edges my kitchen up. And... I have, you know, those hairs that don't quite grow out to make it to the ponytail. Why is that? Like, I mean, I treat them hairs the same way I treat the rest of my head. But anywho, and I'm just going to the front again. And look at that. And I'm talking about, I don't mean no harm, but because like I said, I'm not bashing this because I will still, this is still bay. But, man, ingredients, check, scent, check, consistency, money, value, check, check, check. Like, this, this is some really good stuff. And as you may tell, um, I really don't have to go about doing this again. But, you ever, you know when you're learning a product and you're just like, man, you, you just can't be too careful. And that's all that is, that layer is, this layer for my front and my back. But even still, like, I'm not using a lot. I don't know if you can see that. Like, I'm just tipping my finger right off the top. And 
I am so impressed because again, this just goes to show that we get caught up in name brands and what's new and what's popping to the point like, I'm pretty sure that somebody once upon a time was raving about this just as much as we're raving about the Shea Moisture brand or the As I Am brand or the Cantu. Cantu just came in and took over. Like they just took over by storm because they was affordable. But when you start, you know, doing your research and realizing, or I believe they start adding the alcohol in the product. I don't think it was in it at first. I think that was the argument. But anywho, this one's helping me right now. Like I did it yesterday. And I was satisfied enough to like, I said, okay, I'm going to do it on camera this time because I want to be sure. I don't want to waste y'all time. And that's my whole goal because I did a lot of trial and error. And I'm going to bring my ponytail up a little higher because my funny shaped head was looking mighty funny yesterday. Mighty funny. And I don't appreciate it. And I don't appreciate y'all for not telling me, but... And back to this ponytail thing, like, look, this is my opinion. And this is something that we, it's like a reality thing. Like, if you know your hair is not enough, because my ponytail is awkward. To be honest, in my opinion, what I think, look at that. Like, I look like a child that somebody just slapped gel around their forehead and told them to go outside and play. This makes you look very young and immature. I don't like it at all. I wish my hair was a lot bigger and puffier so I can do like the little pretty buns and stuff but you know you it, if you don't have it you don't have it love what love to appreciate what you have but I am gonna show you guys um a trick on camera while we're here gathered today amen soft brush just to make sure everybody's in order everybody is in attendance amen and as you can see Look, and y'all, I, I didn't even, and y'all see, I didn't even wrap my hair yet. I didn't even wrap my hair. But I'm going to wrap my hair because, honey, we're going to be safe and sorry. Hallelujah, amen. But um, I'm going to show y'all what I do to keep my ponytail from being so awkward right but y'all like my hair is laid like it even feels like you know that feel like the gorilla stock give you and let me tell you i used to gorilla snot like works and it works for a long time it's just the cleaning up like when it actually starts beating together with all the little dirt and other chemicals and particles in your hair man it is so messy and so nasty and so sticky i just couldn't do it so i, I just Threw the whole thing away. Like, I can't do grill or snot. But that was something good, too. And some people say, oh, I got alcohol in it. But it didn't bother my hair. I don't think it was doing anything harsh to my hair. It's just that that whole, that was, y'all know how I feel about hands and products. I just hate it. But anywho, so. And look at the, way, like, look at the hair. Like, the hair is behaving. Ponytail still looking awkward. But let me tell you what I do, right? Um, Y'all know the donuts, right? And this is one that I custom made, like I made it thinner, right? And this is so that I can make sure that my hair actually covers this. That's another trick too, you guys, like, um, cause they come real, you know, thick and wide and fat. And I just peel off to my desired size. And I got the idea when, um, my daughter used to, you know, want to wear it and I tried to use the regular one and it didn't fit. Like, I, I'm not going to send her to school looking crazy, right? So I just start peeling back to the desired size. And it was about this size. And it worked. And I said, that's so cool. And you're not wasting anything because, hey, you can get these in a dollar store. now in Dollar Tree for a dollar. So I just peel back to the desired size. And if your hair is longer, then you probably can just let it be. But I just put this on as, you know, desire of using... Or how I would do if I had the other. Make my little entrance. And because I'm natural, like, it's not so much as, okay, my hair is perm, so it got to be completely slit. I don't care about that. Like, I just want to, you know, look like a nice, thick, natural bun. And just make sure it's nice and tight. And I got a lot of extra hair. I don't know if you can see, but I have to do a lot of tucking. Because, again, I can wear 
the large one, it just, um, it takes more effort than to make it smaller. So I made mine smaller. And as you can see, I have a nice natural bun. Like, I don't have an onion head. See? It's nice and neat. And it's intact. And I'm in love. And when this part dries, which it shouldn't take long. And sometimes, this is what I do too. And this is just to, you know, apply pressure. I will go in with another head scarf just to you know like i said to make sure sure and i do notice when i do the two or the dual it cuts back on the time of drying and being nice and neat especially because like i said the back of the head tends to rise up when you do a lot of movement with your head and stuff so there you go but word of encouragement own what you have and if you don't like it change it you can always like for some people, when they realize, hey, I have struggles growing my hair past a certain length, they keep it at the length where they can maintain. I used to do that in college. Like, I used to keep it, like, here or here. And that's because, you know, when you blow dry, it, it tends to kind of still be kind of here without even flat ironing it. And it tends to kind of fall at that angle because it's so short. And I would just bump it and go. And that used to be my hairstyle throughout college. And I loved it because it was low maintenance. It was easy. It was simple. Because once you start, like I said, getting here. and All right. So whatever it takes, whatever works. Like do your research. There's YouTube. There's Google. There's plenty. Like we live in a world today that we have so many options that you do not have to embarrass yourself by trying or attempt to do a ponytail when you can't. Or when it's at that awkward stage. Because... That whole onion head thing, that, that's not cute. And for anyone who is around, anyone who actually say, oh, you all right, you're fine, that's not okay. Even like just slicking the hair down like with the gel and doing the little finger waves, I think that is so gorgeous. And I haven't met, I don't think not one person that that did not suit, like did not look right. I love that hairstyle. And doing the real, real low short fro and like getting a curl kit or getting some curl styler beautiful like i think that looks beautiful as well like there's ways to own what you have and actually look good like it's not enough to be shame and just be like oh i ain't, I can't, I ain't got enough to do a ponytail i ain't got no edges like clean up your kitchen clean this up clean up your sideburns like me i have to keep them down keep them off my face and find something that works something that will slit your hair down like, whether you're trying to go this way or do, like, a part or whatever, and that works. That looks better than, you know, embarrass yourself with attempting to make a ponytail. And I think it's not enough people being honest with people. Like, you got a lot of people who do hairstyles in different braids and stuff, and they already don't have any edges. And it's like, why why'd you do that? And it's not, and you can't, uh, now, I've met some stylists that can hide trouble hair. However, for me, I'm thinking it, it, you have to, a true stylist, you have to go beyond saying, all right, you paying me to do this hairstyle so I'll make it work. What am I doing to make sure that you still have hair when you take this hairstyle out or that you actually grow your hair back? Like, I think I've seen only two stylists on my timeline mention like the upkeeping of their customer's hair or like concoction, some type of oil or butter or something that actually thickens or regenerates their hair like um three i'm sorry three i know three stylists that i know um because there's um a young man who used to do my hair and he does a phenomenal job and he actually takes time to look into his products and say all right this is good for your hair this guy you know he experts like own your business and learn your business like it's it's a big deal. Like, even with me making my own herbal oil, like, it wasn't just me, like, all right, I'm just do it. Like, I literally, when I made my personal bottles, I strategically put a amount in all the bottles with my own hands. And it was a struggle. But for me, it's like, it's better to be safe than sorry. Like, you do what you have to do to make sure your hair look presentable. And even with men, because I'm telling you, men pay way more attention to hair and stuff than you think way more because even my husband he's like no nah, i don't know about that 
or because uh, I remember when I first said, you know what, I'm gonna leave the weeds alone. I found out I was pregnant, I was sick anyway, and I'm like, look, I'm just washing and go. But I had no idea about wash and go, so I it literally that's all I did was wash and let it air dry. And it used to be pat and matted, no product on the top of my head, looking like a uh, porcupine. And he said, I, I can't get with that, I'm sorry. I love you, but you got to find something else. So I took the time and cause mind you, I didn't really like it either, but because I was so sick, it was just like, I don't know what I'm doing. And that goes to show you that being natural don't mean you're an expert automatically. It does not like there's people to learn from. There's products to, to teach you programs, seminars, pamphlets. It's the whole now. We are in 2019, almost in 2020. There is so many opportunities and so many options for people with all, like literally you can just type in your hair type, 4B, 4C, 4G, 4E, um, high proxy, low proxy, and tons of stuff comes up. Now I do admit there seems to be more so towards the, oh, I need to grow my hair long and I need to have this, these big, nice curls, tight curl side than the twa. I can't make a ponytail short hair. You know, there is a big scale difference, but there are way more options today than there were when I was growing up. When I was in school, it was like, hey, if your hair won't hear, you ain't doing it. And mind you, hair is nothing compared to what people, like people are breaking the mold and the limits on hair growth. We're talking about bra strap length, um, breast length, waist length knees kneecaps like we're breaking the molds here like and these are african-american women who have studied showed themselves approved and done their research done their homework whatever you want to do you're going to research it and you're going to look into it and be like oh i can do that even me with this postpartum shit like i said i postpartum shit with my daughter but because i kept my hair like this anyway i think it was more and it was perm hair it was more so like you couldn't really tell, okay, your hair actually got thinner because the goal when you perm your hair is to have it nice and flat. Y'all know how y'all, you know, the silk wraps. I used to love them. But now that you're natural, it's all about big, luscious, dramatic hair. And that's how I, I said, wait a minute. My pineapple look like a apple, <laughs> an onion. Like, it's a difference. Like, duh. But... I've learned so much. And one thing that I'm going to tell y'all that y'all not going to like hearing, diet plays a huge part. Because let me tell you, why else is there such thing as a postpartum shedding? Yes, they like to say stress is a factor, but stress usually leads to what? A poor diet or lack of diet. And with me breastfeeding, having a C-section, losing a lot of fluid and a lot of blood, I knew better to just stop taking my prenatals i should have been doubling up but because my whole focus was like oh i gotta feel better so i can take care of my child and run my house the mother tends to not focus on herself anymore and just focus on everything else and that's not okay because if you're run down you're broken how can you help everybody else but anyway i say this like disclaimer i'm not <laughs> i'm not poking fun to anybody i know who can't make a ponytail i'm just saying there are options and there is ways and there are hairstyles that are appropriate to making sure your hair gets to a point. Like even if you got to go to a hiding stage where you just cover your hair, keep your hair hidden under a weave or a wig. And I can say this, wigs work. But if you know you're going to have to do wig or do wig for an extended period of time, go ahead and invest your money into a good one. Because what we're learning now is those combs and those pins on the sides are literally ripping your edges out your head and your hair out your scalp. And it's almost like a permanent thing. Like my sister was just telling me that she's noticing a difference. Both of my sisters. And it's crazy because one literally just started. And the other been wearing it. And she's like, you know what? This is looking a little different. And I did the wig for a second. But my husband won't for it. And I was I didn't have money to get like the, uh, the wig that I desired. Because if I did, I would go out frontal. You know, all of that to keep my hair protected and make sure I actually look decent wearing one because the old school, no part hump wig does not work at all. And that's how mine was. And I was just like, you were slipping. But anywho, if y'all know, if y'all been following me, y'all know that my whole goal is to stay away or shy away from all material things anyway. So 
my thing is God gave me this crown and I'm going to enjoy it. So I hope I said something helpful for you guys. I love you guys. Thank you for supporting. It's growing steady, you know, surely, slowly, but surely. And I thank God for that. And like I said, look, try it. 4C, 4B hair approved. This nice old glaze here in um, Lord willing, sometimes when my doesn't get much butter than this runs out, I will go and try the um, butter. May not actually get the treatment because I have Hannah. And most of those treatments, I would say that it's either or because the whole point of Hannah is to provide nutrients and protein to your hair. But it's like a combination because Hannah is not just protein alone. Like it's a bunch of stuff. But you have to create some type of balance between the moisture and the nutrients. So don't just run off and do Hannah and then do the other treatments. Like it's one or the other. Now I would say if you're new to this, don't just jump on the Hannah train. Even myself, I say, you know what? I probably should have started doing protein treatments from some other way and then working my way up to putting like a little and my conditioners and stuff. That's what I'm going to start doing. Like, y'all saw me do the handle treatment on camera, but I'm saying on camera for the record, I'm not going to do another full-out handle treatment that way no time soon. Like, it may be months from now. But what I am going to do is, is like taking a teaspoon or two and putting it into my conditioners and doing it that way. That way, I'm getting my moisture and I'm getting my protein. So, I love you guys. God bless you guys. Stay tuned for what's next, okay? Take it slow, slow.